this we ended up getting out of this was totally different than what say that I expected. Um, <laughs> two new things that I've been doing is adding the protein to it. And avocados is something more new that um, I've been adding to it to not just be pure um, fruit. So, don't get flustered. All my smoothie recipes are kind of winged at smoothie recipes that I learned from other smoothie recipes. Uh, because you got to learn the consistency, the flavors, the stuff that you like. Um, don't follow this video <laughs> to the letter. Let me put the instructions in the fine print for you uh, because I do quite a bit of modifications because um, I discovered that half an avocado for even what I just did was way too dense. So I would just say uh, when you get in your bag to maybe take off four little slivers of avocado uh, and then make your smoothie. It tastes delicious. But um, it definitely got um, a little uh, cookie dough-ish until I did my modifications. So enjoy. Okay, so here's a prime example, you guys. <laughs> my smoothie does not want to be a smoothie. This is what happens with avocado. And I don't really have it happen with anything else. It just happens with avocado. So as you can see, I still have space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add me some more juice in there. And we're going to go back to the blender again. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to show you my avocado smoothie. So, I'm using the larger one today. Um, that is the 24 ounce. Um, so, that's half an avocado. Uh, I have the 18 ounce. I would only use a quarter of the avocado. Avocado is very dense and doesn't release any liquid. So, what ends up happening is the more avocado you put in there, it ends up being more like uh, a pudding instead of a smoothie. So I've got my hemp, I've got my tropical berry mix is what I like, but I'll tell you just flat out using a banana and almond milk with an avocado is delicious or um, avocado milk and a blueberry. Um, those are just as good, but I like this, this mix here because uh, it's got the bananas, the pineapple, pineapple is another one to mix good with avocado uh, and mango not real big fan of the other ones but I kind of like more of a melody mixes um, so and we're going to use the almond milk and I'm out of my apple juice um, but crayon apple will work just fine to add just a little bit of fluid that helps thin it out a little bit um, the other thing and you're going to laugh at me but it doesn't have any of the bad stuff in it uh, get Capri Suns just don't get the ones that um, are the artificial flavored ones just get regular plain Jane Capri Suns they work really good for putting juice in it and then give the rest of the juice to the kids or drink it yourself. Okay, so, um, uh, measuring. Sorry, I almost forgot. Flax. So, we put one tablespoon of our flax in. And then we take, see this is the larger one, um, so actually, sorry, uh, we'll put two tablespoons of flax because this is the larger one. And then we'll do the same thing uh, with our hemp. So our hemp uh, if, um, that I have, it's got 15 grams of protein per one tablespoon. So um, we're going to go ahead and put two nice keeping scoops of the hemp in here to get our protein. It is up to you about the lemon, but most every smoothie mix that I have read, um, putting just a squeeze of lemon in it helps it blend all the ingredients. I'm not really sure what the concept is behind it, but um, I would say even this size, just go ahead and put a quarter of a lemon in it. You can put more if you'd like. I'm just going to squeeze that, put that back in the bag, and I can squeeze more for the next go around. So... Um, cup wise, so let's see, we're at, uh, twenty milliliter. Uh, we're gonna go up to to the five with the uh, the fruit here, and then once we do that, 
I'm kind of a wing it type person, but to give you an idea, that's probably like maybe two cups worth of fruit. And then I would probably put one cup worth of um, almonds in it. Okay. And then I put a little bit of uh, whatever juice that I prefer. Because I don't like to use sweeteners. This is my version of using a sweetener. Um, I've heard a lot of people say they put honey in there, but to me, honey really doesn't sweeten quite like a, a juice would. Okay, so we're going to mix it up together here. 